Do you work well with Javante? Or uh, your... We'll see. You know, that depend upon uh, Malvin South and how he's looking, you know, if he is active. He did fine, too, you know. Usually you told us with, like, Bryce's situation, you wait a week, kind of when they come back. But is he, is he going to push that envelope? I don't know yet. Uh, we're going to give him a little more work today, um, then drag it in the, tomorrow, and then make a decision. But it, either either one of those are possible. We're talking about running back distribution. Would part of it be how Javante played, or is it strictly related to Melvin's health? Uh, more related to Melvin's health. Coach, when it comes to the challenge situation, how does that process work? Is that just with you, or are you who are you consulting with specifically? Um, Matt Sheldon, primarily up in the box, with the help of the other assistant coaches that are up in the box that see the replays. But it was Matt that uh, recommended we challenge that play the other day at the you know right at the last second. Uh, Vic, a lot of coaches who've played the Lions this year have said how, how hard they played despite their record. Who is that a credit to, the players or their staff, or both? Both. You know, it's a credit to the coaches, credit to the players. You know, it's a team effort. Whatever you put out on the field, the coaches and players have their fingerprints on it, so it's a credit to both. Lions. Good. You know, he, um, you know, as a defensive back, you're going to give up some plays, but uh, overall he was playing good. Seagull back or then Seagull back in the nickel when he comes back? Right? Yeah, that's where he would play. So, I mean, Kyle would be back out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just heard that. That's a hell of a an award for him, hell of an honor. I don't know how they go about um, nominating those guys, but uh, they surely picked the guy very worthy of it. Okay, right. Thank you Thanks, Vic. Okay, guys, thank you. See you tomorrow.